So the first thing you actually want to do is go to options and then go to general settings and go to the miscellaneous section and turn auto name channels off. That way, whenever you load up an instrument, the name of the channel and the color and everything that you set in your template will actually stay exactly the same. So a quick way to rename a channel and set the color, just middle mouse click onto it and then you could type in the name right here and choose your color right here. To get the icon, just click it and then you'll have your choice of icons right here. If you want to color multiple channels at the same time, just right click and drag and then you could just go to this drop down menu and color selected, choose gradient and you just choose one color and your second color and it'll change all the colors. Or you could just go with one solid color, it doesn't matter. To group all of your drums or whatever channels you want together, just hit Alt and G and then you can name the group and then your groups will be accessible right up here from this drop down menu. So if you're starting on a completely blank template, select the insert on your mixer rack that you want to link these to, starting with the very first one, and then just hit Control L. And you'll notice anything that you have an icon on your channel will put the icon here and it will color and it will name everything. So another thing that you could do, let's pretend that these are buses. So I'm just going to quickly name this drum bus. If you wanted to link all of these into your drum bus so that you have control over each one, just control and drag, and then they'll select all those channels and then right click this little up arrow and select route to this track only. Now all of these will be routed to your drum bus. Now you'll notice that the drum bus is in the middle of the channel or in the middle of the mixer. That's probably not where you want it. You probably want it next to you where it says master. Just left, just right click and then go down to dock two and then choose left. And now it's next to the master. So let's go in and let's add, let's pretend we're adding a 808. Actually, let's just actually add an 808. And let's color this purple. That's usually what I have my bases colored, colored as. And then we're just gonna link it to channel five. So control L. So you'll notice that there's, besides the colors, you might wanna separate these even more. Just right click and choose separator and you'll get a little line right there for each section. So if you have your drums, your basses, and then your instruments, you can add separators within the middle of the insert racks. Now also in my template, you'll notice that I have another section to the right for all my send effects and parallel effects. Let's pretend that this is a send effect. Just right click, dock to the right, and now you'll have your send effects here. Now to send tracks to your send effect, control and drag, and then right click the up arrow. Instead of route to this track or route to this track only, select sidechain to this track. Now you'll notice by doing that, all of these volumes will be turned down, which is what you want. That way it'll be routed and then you could add in the amount of that signal that you want going into this effect. Comment down below, give me a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. I have a tons of content coming out. So I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.